The in-development MMORPG War of Dragnarox has announced a couple of pretty significant changes this past week. One in particular has me very concerned for this old school style game. Could this announcement impact how you feel about this MMO going forward? Let's dig in and let you decide. On July 10th, Triune Studios sent out an email announcing their new name change going from War of Dragnarox to Eternal Tombs. I heard previously that they had been considering a name change, so I wasn't too surprised. But what was surprising was the reason they gave for doing the name change now. Let's dive into the email and break it down. War of Dragnarok started out as a tab-targeted based game that featured slow-moving combat very similar to games of the past. This is true as stated in their game announcement trailer in 2022. Um, in terms of actual gameplay with War of Dragnarok, we're, we're trying to capture the feeling of old hardcore MMORPGs like EverQuest, Dark Age of Camelot, Ultima Online, War of the Rings Online, those tab target style games with um, adding awesome new abilities, interesting dynamic gameplay, and all, all while pushing the MMO genre forward. The email goes on to state, as we continued in our development, we discovered that without having that nostalgic feeling of a game we've played for 20 plus years, the combat was just incredibly arduous and boring. We took an incredibly hard look internally and started revamping everything, end quote. Now, I don't know about you, but when I first heard about this game, it sounded like they were very interested in the old school style games that had tab target combat that yes, may be a bit slower, but are also more strategic and allow for more social gameplay. The email goes on to say, quote, we tried multiple different styles of systems and ultimately came up with something that is incredibly fun and totally unique. It's quite a bit different and a name change was needed to establish the difference. This is also concerning to me that the change of combat and gameplay is so significant that they felt a name change was needed to establish the difference. I mean, we can't really understand until they show us what these changes are. But again, this is concerning language to me. Others may be happy with this type of change as they may not have been tab target fans to begin with, but I foresee this being very concerning to old school style gamers like myself that appreciate the slower strategic gameplay that tab target offers when paired with interesting and unique spells and abilities. They wrap up this paragraph stating that quote, in addition, internally, we honestly always had mixed feelings on the name, end quote, which is fair. I had heard that last year as well. So the name change itself was, as I stated, not surprising or unsettling. So that's the email. It does state that we will get more information in August, quote, with a large trailer and gameplay video that covers many of the main systems within Eternal Tombs and goes over many of your questions, end quote. I will definitely be watching for that info. And I do hope that these changes aren't as foreboding as I'm feeling at the moment. It certainly feels that the tab target games of yesteryear are just not appealing to the game developers of our time, even if they agree that the old school games had it right. Most seem to gravitate towards flashier combat, faster pace, less consequence, and therefore less reward and satisfaction. This seems to contradict what Eternal Tombs started out as, and hopefully my concerns are all for nothing. I truly hope that the combat they show come August will still be slow enough to encourage socializing as well as not just spammy abilities that have no real strategic value. Let me know down in the comments what your take on this news is. I'll try to stay optimistic that these game changing design decisions won't detract from the old school style of gameplay it was originally going for 
until we hear more in August. If you'd like to hear more on why I think slower combat in MMORPGs is a good thing, check out my video, Five Benefits of Slower Paced MMOs. Take care and thanks for watching. Yeah.